All right, YouTube. So, you got all of the ribs laid out. I would recommend getting a very long table or doing your spars. That's one of the reasons why I set my spar stand up or my wing stand so that way I can use my spars kind of as my working table here. And I would recommend that you get everything laid out according to the plans here and you check them <laughs> two or three times to make sure that you have the parts the way that they should be. So starting from down there, you got a 110. And it's very important too that you look at the number because there's a 110 right and there's a 111 right and then there's a 112 right and a 112 left. So you make sure that you have them. So I would lay everything out, label them. Now, I don't know if you um, are going to get the same that I got, but I have noticed that all the left ribs, um, the stickers on the bottom, all the right ribs, the stickers on the top. I think that's probably by design, but I don't know. It could change. Don't take my word for it. Um, you know, look, but that's kind of the stickers. All the right stickers are up on the top. All the left stickers are on the bottom of the part. So just make sure, lay them out and make sure that you have all the parts laid out and it, and it corresponds with this design. So now when we go in to the, um, we have to make up these brackets, right? The the flap uh, brackets and the elevator bracket um, pivot points you can just go and grab the part off of off of the table and uh, there you go so so it's easier so I would highly recommend and what I'm gonna do is I get off this video I'm gonna go through the list again um, I have the other thing is is it's probably not relative to the position of this piece but I have a um, I have the parts laid out to how they should look on here. So that's how I did it. But like I said, it's not laid out to the spar. It's just the, you know, laying on top. So, cause this spar is actually upside down. This is the bottom. So there you go. I'm gonna go back, double check your work because you definitely don't wanna mess up here. All right, so here we go. Fluting. Um, what fluting is, is basically when you push, if you notice, these parts are not flat. So when I put them on a flat surface and I push, see how that end comes way up? So what fluting is, is, is it's a process of crimping inside here. And what that does is it pulls that part flush again. So, so it's very critical you have a flat table. And if I hold this down flat, see how that comes up? And so what I'll do is I'll flute it and you, I'll show you after I do that what the part looks like. All right, so as you can see, so we put these little creases in there using our pliers, but now watch this. Same thing, I'm gonna push on the part and as you can see, it does not come up. That's why we flute. What that does is it torques. So it's the process of the stamping of the metal when these things get stamped, it deforms it a little bit. So when you flute, you you're, what you're doing is you're bringing it back into alignment. It could be a, fluted a little bit more, but hey, that's good enough. And then I'm looking over here, doing it on the part, and sure enough. So that's, that you can live with. That you can live with. So that's why you flute. And the, these are the fluting pliers. And like I said, so you always want to make sure that the female end or this piece, the, the longer end, is on the inside of your part. And that will keep you from getting too close here to the edge and, and causing problems and deforming the part. So you just want to flute the tip or the, the outer edge. But there you go. That's why we flute um, is to get that bow it's got a bow. Now, if you float, flute too much, you'll have a bow this way. So, um, or you have a bow this way. 
So right now it's bowed this way. If you flute too much, you'll have a bow this way. And the way to get rid of that is you use your seamer and you just take, you just seam and you just take those out a little bit and, and everything. So, so yep, got, I'll finish the rest of the fluting, but that is fluting. All right, YouTube. So there we go. We got all of the part fluted and they are ready to go. So now what we have to do and, uh, We'll call it a day, but tomorrow when we come in, we're gonna take all the bluing off. We've got to, we've got to do all of our um, deburring on the lightning holes, and we'll talk about that when we do it tomorrow. But everything's ready to go, and then after deburring, we're gonna scarf all the pieces up, run it down with acetone. We're gonna use the new painting table, and we are going to paint these. Once these are painted, we'll clear this bench off and then we'll progress the start over um, on the other side. I, well, you know what? I think what we'll do, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. But I think what we'll do is we'll finish at least getting these ta attached to the left. We'll get them painted and then we'll get them attached to the left and then uh, to, the, to the left spar and then we'll will reset and we'll start over on the right spar. This is the beauty about building wings. This is the part that everybody says is monotony is because up until now, a part was a part, right? Your elevator horizontal stabilizer was, you know, one solid piece. Your elevators, yes, those were um, individual parts, but everything was you were completing a part. Um, well, you're completing a part here, but now you're having to do it twice. And so it, it gets the monotony and actually this, the wings are, I would say the biggest part so far. I mean, I don't know what the fuselage, but I got the quick build fuselage anyways. So a lot of that's going to be built for me. But these wings um, are the biggest, well, they're obviously the biggest part. And then you got times two. Um, this is the doldrum of, of RV building. It's a lot of repetition, a lot of repetition. So, but hey, we'll probably have one wing that is really, really great because everything I learned on this wing will be transposed down to the new ring. So, but like always, thanks for joining me today and uh, everything. I'm going to call it a day um, and I wish you guys the best. If you have any comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section. And like always, may God bless you. Keep you guys safe.